When we talk about what is hot, the robot vacuum space has completely exploded. It's more and more competitive every year. And I'm here with RoboRock with my man, Dan, and you are bringing something new to the table with the S8, correct? That's right. This is now the most powerful RoboRack series on our lineup. Um, this is the S8 series. Now we have got upgrades across the board. Now we have got upgrades to the brush system. We have now dual roller, you know, so it's better pickup, less hair resistor, uh, hair tangles, and then it also lifts when you choose a mop-only mode. So it gets out of the way when you're mopping. That, that's important, like even yeah. the hair tangle thing, super like, once in a while, right, you gotta kinda like get in there, pull the that's hair right. out and trim it yeah, out. Yeah, that's right. So less of that. Now, we have got a very powerful mopping system. This is a Roblox trademark, Wiberize 2.0. So what it does, it, it takes the, the concept from sonic toothbrush, you scrub against the floor very intensively, so you get the stains out there, all right? This so, is vibrating yeah, right Feel it, feel it, yeah. Yeah, oh, wow. it's very powerful yeah, scrubbing, yeah, yeah. just like a manual scrubbing, right? And this one lifts when the roll vacuum identifies that it's on carpets. So you don't want your carpets to be mopped, right? So this, this does it for you. That's so awesome. very convenient, oh, right? And then moving forward, we have got a dock. Oh, yeah. Now this is called the Ultra Dock because it does everything, right? It makes the S8 Pro Ultra the king of roll vacuums. Now what this does is it empties the you know, empties the dustbin for you, it washes the mop for you, and after it washes the mop for you, it dries the mop for you. So with hot air drying, so no more no more smell, no bacteria build up, no mold build up. So it's very, very so, so yeah. you're so hot warm air is actually blowing after it completes and, and the, it's resting yeah. on the dock. That's right. Oh, you wow. see this this very ugly strings over here? It's it's basically showing the airflow you know, from both sides, from this side and this side. So it's actually drying it up, making it very, very fresh for the next clean run. So the Roborock S8, uh, do you guys, are you telling us the release date and price right now? That's right. So the S8 series is made out of three different models. The basic S8, the S8 Plus, and the S8 Pro Ultra. All three of them are expected to come to market in April. Okay, Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, Roborock has always been like, uh, uh, with the robot vacuums, and that's why we came here. So, hot thank stuff you, Brian. Here thank you, Brian. For sure, Dave. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, everybody, we are here at the Stellantis booth. This is Karen, product specialist for Dodge Ram, and guess what? This is real life. Yes. It, it is. <laughs> she looks down. Yeah, it is, Brian. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much has for joining us. Have seen Brian? Oh, oh wow. Seen Wow. Wow. I, I, I don't know if we should continue this interview. Oh, <laughs> yes. No, no. So thanks so much for joining us today. Yes. Um, you know, right behind me, we have the Dodge Ram Revolution, it's right? It's the Ram Revolution. The Ram. Oh, the Ram yes. Revolution. You should use that <laughs> as well. And this is your first battery electric vehicle uh, as a truck. And so I wanted to talk about, we see a completely new design, clean lines. Uh, what's kind of behind this new concept? So we are going for that electrification. As you can see here, this is a concept vehicle, the Ram Revolution. But by 2024, you will see a half-ton pickup from Ram with an electrified side, okay? So some of the ideas you might see going forward, but let's talk about some of the fun concept yeah. ideas that we put in the Ram Revolution. So of course, as the designers are thinking about who is gonna be buying a Ram? Well, most of our half-ton pickup owners are contractors, so they have to be on the job site. So let's make it easier for them to go to that job site. So some of the features that you'll notice on the inside, our seats are on a track system here. They actually can add a jump seat for a third row. Wow. So so we maybe bring some of our, you know, your employees over off to lunch when you're at the job site. Perfect, convenient, put the jump seat on. Also, if you want to put some materials in here, you can actually put the seats down, that back window comes down, and that bed of the Ram Revolution extends. And all the way through up to the frunk, that's right, yeah, we talked about yeah, a frunk. We got, we got some frunk action. Exactly, 18 feet you can put with storage through there. So how nice is that? Another feature that I love, that steering column right there, that will go right into the dashboard in front there. So if you had your laptop and you wanted to work as your office on wheels, it makes That's it very cool. convenient for you. Isn't that, that an awesome piece? Absolutely. Now, some of the other features that you'll notice throughout, we do have our small cameras, actually our small mirrors. Now that is a 360 degree camera that gives you a bird's eye view. Also, you probably noticed we have no B pillar in there. So those are barn doors that open up. Also, some more barn doors with our multi-function tailgate. This is a 50-50. This actually opens up as well. So you can move up and load whatever you need in the back of your Ram pickup truck. 
Very now, cool, very this cool. is an electric vehicle. It does have two electric motors, one in the front, one in the rear, and the batteries are housed in the middle. It is a body-on-frame design, just like our Rams have been. And now with that body-on-frame design as well, it does have an all-wheel drive purpose to the vehicle. All right, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You want to see more hot stuff? Well, right behind me, this is TCL's QM8 mini LED TV. This is 98 inches of goodness, the largest mini LED TV we've seen. It also has a wider color gamut with QLED technology. Now, what makes this special? Again, the large size. TCL has continued to kind of push the envelope when it comes to mini LED. They were the first company to bring the technology to the United States, and now they have it in this large format. This is going to be a 4K TV, 240 hertz refresh rate, variable refresh rate, game sync mode, so all the stuff that gamers want as well is gonna be packed in here. If you talk about the actual display, it has over 2,000 300 dimming zone, so that's going to give you a lot more specific, you know, contrast where the blacks and the whites hit. But when we talk about even just TV technology as a whole, mini LED is just right below that level of OLED. You get those really great blacks. That, you know, you look at a mini LED TV, it is just like just, just below OLED. But also the biggest thing here, TCL packs a whole lot of value into their TVs at a price that is a lot lower than these kind of high premiere end TVs. You also have here 2,000 nits of brightness. So all those specs that I spit out you, these are premier top high end features on this 98 inch TV. We don't know the price. We don't know when it's gonna be available, but it is coming out this year. And it is one of the hottest things here at the show, TCL's QM8. All right, I told you we're gonna keep it hot here. We are inside of Nikon's booth. This is one of the cool experiences that you can have here at CES 2023. So there's a few components that is gonna make all of this that you see behind me come together. So number one, we got the Nikon Z9, right? This is arguably the best hybrid camera out there for photos and video. You got a 45 megapixel camera, 8K video up to 60 frames per second in 8K. Woo. I'm already getting like, uh, full frame camera as well. So that's gonna be mounted right here. Now, the arm that you see here, the Nikon's there, the arm here, this is called the Bolt X. It's from Mark Roberts Motion Control. So this is a robotics company that's gonna be moving this arm with me while I ride. The third component of here is the view network. So the video that's gonna play behind me is actually synced with the motion of the arm to go around. It's gonna kind of create this cool experience. So. It's about time I stop talking and I start riding. Are you not entertained? entertained?